Okay, so this is going to be my catheter video. Open up. the wrapping down and there's going to be tape on the bottom and I'm going to want to open it away from me first and then the sides side and then the one closest to me So this is going to be the sterile field. I want to open this up. Only touching the one inch border. The center being the most sterile. This is what's gonna go right underneath the patient, but I'm just gonna set it to the side right here. My sterile gloves, I'm just gonna set to the side as well. And then the fenestrated drape. This also goes underneath the patient, or not underneath, but on top of the patient for more sterile field, but I'm just gonna leave that to the side as well. I'm gonna go ahead and don my sterile gloves. You don't have that much space I'm working with. So I'm gonna move this over a little bit so I have some room to put on my gloves. Can't even see this. I'm only touching the one border and opening up the gloves as well. Again, I don't have that much space I'm working with here. So it's gonna overlap this sterile field, but I don't have anywhere else to do the video. sister's vacuuming, I'm sorry. <laughs> Again, I would have more space when I'm doing these gloves, but since I don't have any, specimen cup and this is the loop right here and then 
So I'm going to go ahead and open up the lid, my trash over there. I'm going to go ahead and squeeze the lube out, pressing on it. This is now trash. I'm going to go ahead and open up my solution here iodine solution. I'm going to put it over this is not my carpet onto the cotton balls right here. Um, I'm going to put this onto my trash as well. Okay. And at that time, I'm going to go ahead oh my gosh, and move this to the bed by the patient. I'm just going to leave it right here. Okay. So at this time, I'm going to go ahead and connect the saline. as well. I'm going to go ahead and place all of this by the patient onto the bed. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and get all of this. So then I'm going to go ahead I'm just going to pretend. I'm going to open up the labia with my non-dominant hand. I'm going to use one of the um, cotton balls, swipe it to the left of the labia, put it into the trash. I'm going to go to the right of the labia, labia put it into the trash, and then I'm going to use the three remaining cotton balls, one right in the center, trash, center, trash, and center, and trash. At that point, I'm gonna still have my fingers on the labia spreading them. I'm gonna let the patient know that she's gonna feel some pressure. And then I am going to um, lubricate the catheter. I'm gonna go ahead and insert the catheter until I see some urine flow back into the tubing. At that point, I'm gonna go one to two inches farther. And then once that's in, I'm gonna go ahead and leave and um, I'm gonna go ahead and hold the catheter in place with my non-dominant hand. And with my dominant hand, I'm gonna go ahead and fill up the balloon at that point, I can't even see it. At that point, I'm gonna go ahead and leave. Fill up the balloon. At that point, I'm gonna leave um, my finger onto the plunger and I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect the plunger and put it in the trash. And then I'm gonna pull back onto the catheter until I feel um, some resistance knowing that that catheter is in place. I'm gonna go ahead and remove my sterile gloves. And then I'm gonna go ahead and hang the bag below the bed. Once that's hung, I'm gonna go ahead and get some new um, gloves 
and then I'm going to provide peri care to the patient and I'm going to go ahead and secure the catheter to her leg with some um, with some slack. <laughs>